According to the InterNACHI Home Inspection Standards of Practice, the home inspector shall inspect the cooling system using normal operating controls. The inspector shall describe the location of the thermostat for the cooling system and the cooling method. The home inspector shall report as a need of correction any cooling system that didn't operate or if the cooling system was inaccessible. Okay, we're starting section 3.5, cooling. First thing we need to do is make sure that the air conditioner is warm enough to operate. We've had some snow recently, so unless it's sitting in the sunshine, it probably isn't gonna work. So what we do is we shoot the compressor, make sure we're at least 65 degrees. We're 84, so we're fine to run this air conditioner. So we're gonna look here, electrical wise, because this air conditioner is within sight of the electrical panel, we're not required to have a service disconnect. Otherwise, we'd have a, a service disconnect at this electrical. We're gonna look at the refrigerant lines. Do we have insulation on it? Does this look good? Does the air conditioner look level? And are our fins relatively clean? You know, we have a little bit of leaves. It is, you know, fall here. A lot of times people will put a cover on. So now this is a carrier that matches the furnace. It's a Puron, so it is a, a 410. So it is a newer style refrigerant. If it used R22, we note that in the report because R22 is now getting very difficult to find and very expensive. So on the back side, again, we're gonna take a picture of the data tag it's not gonna go in the report, but it basically proves what we inspected. On this data tag, it gives us a minimum and a maximum breaker to, that we should have for this air conditioner for protection. When we do the electrical section, we're gonna make sure that the air conditioner breaker matches this data tag. So now that we know we're warm enough to run, we'll go back to the thermostat, we'll turn on the air conditioner, then we'll come out and see how it sounds. Okay, coming outside, we turn the thermostat on. So when we come out here, the fan should be working. We wanna to listen to how it sounds. We should hear both the fan and the compressor humming. So far, it looks really good. Again, looking cleanliness, it looks good. As this runs and gets hot, we will get warm air coming off the fan. Over on this side, after this has been run for a while, we should have a cold suction line and we should have a hot high pressure line. You can actually hit them with your infrared and check the differentials, but just by hand, you can easily feel the difference. That gives you an idea about a charge, if it's working. So this line will be hot. This is the muffler, keep things quieter. This line will be cold. As it runs, once it warms up, then we go into the house and we check our differential between our return side and our supply side at the registers and just get a good idea of how, how well this is working. Okay, after we've ran the air conditioner for about 20 minutes, we're gonna come and we're gonna check our return air and then we're gonna check one of our supply registers. We wanna see 13 to 16 degrees differential. So, we actually documented in a report what it is. Now, if the temperature is close to that 65 or 70 mark, we're also gonna put a note in our report that due to the exterior temperatures, uh, coolant efficiency could not be fully uh, tested, inspected, because the air conditioner doesn't have to work very hard on a cooler day. But if you check the differentials here, if you check the differentials at your lines at the con compressor, you will have a pretty good idea if it's functioning properly. I'm going to go back to the thermostat, I'm going to turn off the air conditioner or set it back to where they had it. Okay, this house, just like most residential properties, uses a split air conditioner. So outside, we've already looked at the compressor and the condenser. Inside, we have an evaporative core or most people call it an A-coil. You can't see it. It's behind here. This is the line set that comes from the exterior unit. So we still should have our differentials, warm, cold. In here, this is what cools the air for the house. The furnace now functions basically as an air handler. We use the blower, 
we blow air past that cold A coil, the air absorbs the cooling from that coil and blows cold air through the house. So we're using the same register. So we've already checked those in the heating section. We don't need to go back and check our HVAC registers again. We already know we have proper flow. We should have a condensation drain system and it needs to go somewhere near a floor drain or have a reservoir pump. I would write this up as it discharges onto the floor so it's leaking there. But we wanna make sure that we have a, our drainage system. If this is above a finished area of the house, typically we wanna see a catch pan for secondary condensation. But, so this is the interior portion of the air conditioner. The outside had the compressor and the condenser. So we're just finishing up the air conditioner, the cooling section of the inspection. So now we're gonna start on 3.6, which is plumbing.